I want to share my family's Alzheimer's story with you. Uh, Alzheimer's disease runs rampant uh, in both my paternal and maternal lineage. In regards to my dad's side of the family, I never got a chance to meet my grandpa Sydney, who died at age 55. My amazing uncle Bobby died at age 56 in 2011. And my dad, Alan, is in the late stages of the disease at age 64. My dad's been sick with Alzheimer's for over a decade with the disease slowly robbing him of his memory and sadly also his dignity. Can you imagine waking up every day struggling to remember what's most important to you in life? Like knowing the names of your friends and family while watching others no longer take you seriously and believing what you say? I saw this unfold firsthand with my dad as my mom dedicated her life to being his primary caregiver, an extremely challenging and taxing task. My dad currently resides in a full-time care facility and is no longer able to express how he feels. He isn't able to say when he has to go to the bathroom or when he's hungry, and his motor skills are on rapid decline. He's not able to feed or bathe himself. And he has so much fear that he collapses, and his days of walking are sadly surely numbered. When I see my dad today, it's really easy for me to look at what's lost and gone forever. But I've chosen to embrace what's still there, like the strength when he holds my hand. This is a man who had it all, a loving family, a successful career, uh, and was a world-class athlete with great emotional intelligence and physical strength. But this horrible disease has robbed him of all that. Alzheimer's is so horrible, I wouldn't wish it upon my greatest enemy. In order to live in a world free of Alzheimer's disease, it's going to require a collective effort where those struggling from the disease and others impacted by a story band together and work towards prevention and ultimately a cure and a four-pronged strategy. One, individual contributions. Two, lobbying. Three, supporting families that are impacted by the disease. And four, spreading the word about the Alzheimer's epidemic by raising awareness. You can make a difference. So from the bottom of the, my heart, I ask that you do whatever you can, whether it's making a charitable donation, $1 or 10000 anything helps. So I ask that you stand with me by my side in this fight and act urgently today. Thanks for all your love and support.